For many years, residents at farms surrounding Ochimbingwe and Karibib have complained of the increase in stock theft cases. With numerous types of wild animals, including giraffe, roaming the area, poaching is another concern. Drugs are also prevalent and police say the dealers target farm workers on payday. To restore confidence, the Irongo and Commerce Police deployed members to work with the community and solve some of the reported crimes. Also we have very committed men and women in uniform. And that is why we can, we can see them to say that we can spend two weeks in the bush. We, we talk of members that when the sun rises, if there is a sunrise, you, you pick up your, 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 your tent, you move. Where the sun sets, you put up camp until tomorrow morning. It's Commissioner Nelumbu says tip-offs from the community led to an arrest near Valfis Bay where an oryx was illegally hunted. At Ochimbingwe, an unlicensed AK-47 with a homemade silencer was also seized. Three people as a result of this possession were arrested. This firearm, status, uh, was just illegal hunting and stock theft. They shoot anything that can produce meat. Then they do away with uh, the meat and to, to a nearest market. At Vanaheda in Ventuk, information collected from residents in the Ochimbingwe area led to a cannabis drug bust worth $50,000. The commanders of both regions have assured the public that the police will continue doing their job, even if it means arresting corrupt members in the force. If there is at all a police officer who uh, is corroborating with uh, criminals, he will be charged like any other citizen. You know, being a police officer does not mean that you are immune from uh, legal procedures. One police officer was arrested in 2015 at Ochimbingwe for stock theft and his case is still ongoing. Renate Ringura, NBC News, Ochimbingwe.